Uh, another edition of What the Fuck Happenings in the YouTube Atheist Community. So, yeah, we got the big news there was TJ getting suspended, an amazing atheist, uh, for two weeks. So, two weeks off. Um, we already did a video about most of this shit. I don't think there was much I missed. I mean, there was part, one part in his little blog TV. He, uh, it was like uh, showing off his dead dog, you know, an old face or something. That was kind of funny, um, for money. <laughs> he did say, you know, for 50 bucks he'll do an 8 minute, I don't know why it's 8 minutes, but anyway, uh, video response to Inmendum, but uh, I don't think anybody's going to put up the 50 bucks. <laughs> but his price might be lower now, you know, his prices got way lower the second day. It's like you get almost anything for 5 bucks. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I don't know, not much else news there, right? I mean, it's not good for YouTube to be playing these games, but this guy, you know, he couldn't give a shit when everybody else was getting suspended. Uh, same with that crazy, crazy uh, fail-up guy. He got suspended for something. I don't know what. I don't give a fuck. And I will say that to, to Tommy from the Bronx, you know, because Tommy did post the TJ sympathy video. But, uh, yeah, it didn't make a little tiny peep when in Mendham got terminated. So, uh, fuck you, Tommy. And your videos are lame lately. <laughs> I'll just throw that in. So anyway, moving on to different people, not more interesting, but different. Give me a break, man. Um, I don't know. He did something, a stunt. We don't know. I don't know if it's like a real stunt or a fake stunt. Uh, but he apparently gave away his Give Me a Break Man channel. Uh, you know, to anybody who, I guess, the first person saw the video, he give them the password, they can take over the account. It appears that whoever did take over the account isn't going to delete anything or touch anything. So it looks like a little bit of a set up there, <laughs> you know. Um, so whatever, I don't know whether it's a game. If it's a game and it gets proven to be just a game, then that really does close the door on Give Me a Break Man. But who needs these fucking game players? Fuck that shit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give away my channel, but hopefully when I when I want to come back again, they'll give it back to me. Yeah, well, I imagine if they actually made something into it, they're not gonna fucking do that. <laughs> you know? God damn you. But anyway, since I don't know, it just has the odor of bullshit. <laughs> just it's in the air. Bullshit is in the air. Uh, angry Canuck. So I won't bother talking about him. Coughlin did a good response video. I think it got taken down by YouTube. You know, full of the dirty old holy costy pictures and you know, all the suffering and anguish and nastiness. And uh, I thought that was a good response. I mean, you really can't argue the detailed history of the facts because the facts are all from, you know, people with agendas and everything else. And no point about doing any of that shit. But what we know for certain is that a hell of a lot of people got fucked up. And that's all you need to know. I mean, a hell of a lot. Just hell of a lot. Do we really have to quantify every single little misery you know come on and uh, whether they died because somebody shot them or ate them or doesn't you know we know that a ton of them died hard and slow over years I mean fuck it this is bad shit nobody needs to argue about well they're you know gilding the the shit, you know, making the shit twice as big as the shit was. What the fuck's the difference? Once as big, a half as big, a quarter as big, three times as big. Don't fucking matter. Stupid bastards. So anyway, Canuck, you just, it's a dumb game. Stop playing it. it. You know, there's better, you know, there's better truthering to go out in the world and solve, okay? The Holocaust isn't why, you know, little, uh, you know, Arab princesses get to lie to the United States Congress. The reason why they get to lie to the United States Congress isn't because of Israel or because of the Jews. It's because of the motherfucking corrupt government that lets all that shit happen. So fuck that bullshit. But whatever. I don't know. Just, he's just being such a jackass. Um, so anyway, uh, Karina. Karina, they, um, you know, no video this week that it's yet, probably today, maybe, I don't know. I, you know, she was at the beach, so she might be just goofing off. Uh, hot for words is a little bit hot for her, so that's kind of neat. She's got a little bit of communication going there. <laughs> uh, she, did a, she did a blog TV with Peaches. Uh, I didn't get to see that. I was watching the stupid TV. I, I mean, I should have paid attention to who else was at blog TV, because apparently Peaches and Karina were, were um, talking about all kinds of interesting women stuff like the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. They got too much brains, I guess. They just couldn't couldn't do a fun day. Had to do a, yeah, yeah, we're pretty fucked. 
Um, but anyway, um, what else is there? Uh, yeah, the weird thing is, is that the, you know I do these sidebar thing. I'll post a link to the website, you know, in case you're interested. You know, just to this thing I do with the YouTube sidebars. And the weird thing is, Karina's last video doesn't show up, and that's kind of it's. There's all little shit like that, and it just it's all evidence that YouTube plays with the index. They play with the exposure to videos, and they really shouldn't be doing that kind of shit. I mean, it just makes Google smell like the goddamn propaganda company they are. Uh, you know, they're engineering popularity. They aren't. They aren't indexing the internet. They are making the internet. <laughs> you know, they are defining it. And that's just fucking bullshit. Uh, <clears throat> so I guess that's it for now. With we'll more Karina later and stick ham. Oh, I gotta get going. We're running out of time. Uh, Math fails. Did a you know. There's guy sock apostering me. <laughs> you know, it took his name and you know it's been talking trash all over everybody's pages so I've been there done that yeah it's no fun having these assholes who fuck with your name shit going on uh, so some empathy extended um, rabbit ape I uh, did do chapter 4 of the Darwin thing I don't know whether it was last week or this week but I did watch that um, you know that's good he, he reads good so Darwin was a little stale it's not really his fault <laughs> but uh, it's good to just hear that shit again uh, anti bullshit man uh, you did did it probably his best video yet and he did it from work and then I, apparently he took it down because he didn't want to get fired so that's kind of funny uh, it's not funny funny like oh man that really was fun it's funny like weird um, but anyway um, I just mentioned nicotine guy just because he wasn't stick ham and I didn't even say hi to him as I was engaged in other matters and so I'll just mention him he did make a little video where he was making fun of like guys who you know make excuses for breaking up for women and stuff and so it was a little bit funny uh, great texts uh, Jesus he did this stupid freaking video on uh, post humanism um, where he basically defended the whole idea of becoming transhuman and trans psychology and trans all this shit so here's a guy who thinks virtual reality is an apocalypse but no completely fucking with our psychology and fucking with our body is okay doesn't make a whole lot of sense especially when that's about five hundred thousand times more expensive I mean to augment our to augment reality to suit our needs is going to cost a zillion times more than to fuck with our brains to make us think we're happy I mean jeez this fucking stupid uh, so I think that's it I think I got everybody covered here um, right so stick am um, yeah it was a whew, hard night <laughs> lots of whew, brutal philosophy blow up the planet kind of stuff like nobody likes that I mean nobody wants to hear the let's oh, let's blow up the planet you know they're really hard to get people gung-ho for that one um, so I did I did boot uh, Remy you know because he was just not I mean you know we were throwing this shit back and forth about how much do you value you value our desire and how how bad is the risk that people take when they have kids because they're not paying the risk price I mean that argument is so obvious when you say I'm taking a risk when you have kids you're not taking the risk your little fucking spawn is taking the goddamn risk he's the one gonna pay the fucking price and so he was just even though he don't have kids he was justifying all that bullshit um, because he's really all invested in this life thing like it somehow still makes sense to him somehow personally and that's really the argument it's it makes sense to him personally and he's going to argue personal and so he just kept arguing back that it's my dark psychology or this 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 kind of crap he wasn't making a rational argument explaining why life makes sense why a biological mechanism designed to consume and reproduce somehow should be perpetuated forever and ever doesn't just doesn't make any sense especially when it can't do the forever and ever thing because a fucking comet in the next sometime in the next 10,000 years is going to blow this planet to shit uh, you know I mean the biosphere anyway it's going to annihilate whatever's living now and it's going to have to start all the fuck over um, so whatever fucking people and no we're not going to be able to blow it up or any of that shit it's going to come out of a blind spot and it's going to be here before we can do a goddamn thing about it but anyway I'm not going to argue that kind of crap um so anyway, yeah, it's just this whole idea of people and, you know, it was a great Father's Day kind of subject, you know, why people shouldn't be motherfucking parents because it's bullshit, irresponsible risk. 
I mean, why do it? You know, entertain yourself. Ride the roller coaster yourself. Don't put somebody else in the goddamn seat when you don't know who they're going to be, damn it. Uh, so anyway, Paul's ego was in the room for quite a while, and uh, he was quite funny at times. Um, talked about his MSS, <laughs> that's what I'll call it, uh, milkshake syndrome. <laughs> you know, his mother drank too many milkshakes, and that's kind of what was the, his downfall. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's a good theory. Uh, he was pretty funny, and uh, yeah, he was good and dark, so it was really good. You know, dark with a little bit of humor, which is nice to have. I uh, can't even tell what this is. Oh, yeah, there was one girl, some one number two DC3 for whatever black and red kind of dress wear and thing, and it was, she was pretty nice. But only 19 years old. And there was this panic button chick, and she was quite hot, but uh, she pointed out how old my balls were, and that really just pissed me off. So the second half of the evening went all wrong because I was just kind of, then I was just kind of depressed. I 